Hey guys, what's up? It's Duct Tape Girl 99 and this is going to be a tutorial on how to make a duct tape trifold wallet. So coincidentally, a few days ago, Jay Wallets also made a trifold wallet tutorial and I'm not like copying him or anything. If you guys didn't know, I've been planning to do a trifold tutorial for quite a while. I just haven't gotten around to it. So I'm finally getting started on that. Anyway, the supplies you're going to need will be two to three colors of duct tape and clear tape. Um an exacto knife, I happen to use two. Um, a piece of ID plastic, I have this frosted plastic. Um, scissors, maybe, I don't know if you're gonna need those or not. And also a ruler, and I have two of those as well. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is make your inner billfold, and I trust that you all know how to do this. You're going to take two nine inch strips of your pattern color, and you're going to stack them on top of each other so they're three and three-fourths inches tall. And then you're going to take your trim color and cover the back so that it's completely covered. So you're going to line up your billfold piece and every three inches you want to cut a very small slit at the bottom. Just a little tiny one so that you can just barely see it. And then you're just going to want to fold each side to the furthest slit like that so that it folds every three inches like a trifold normally would. And then you can just put something on top of it. So to make your first hidden pocket, you're going to need two strips of tape that are two and three-fourths inches long. And you're going to want to take the first one and line it up at the bottom like so. And then take your second one and line it up so that it's three and three-fourths inches tall like that. Make sure that it smooths out nicely like so. And then you're just going to want to very carefully flip it over and cover the back with clear tape. Now for your second hidden pocket, you're going to want to do the exact same thing except use the pocket color. Same measurements and everything, but you're going to want to use your pocket color instead of your outside color. So yeah, just do the same thing and then cover the back with clear tape. So there you have your two hidden pockets, and I just clear taped the back so that it makes the wallet thinner. And then this one I clear taped the back and front because it's chrome. So to make the shorter card pockets on the side that look like this, you are going to want to take two strips of your pocket color that are two and three-fourths inches long, and all you want to do is take those and flip them over and cover the back. And that's basically it. So after you've covered the backs of your card pockets, you're just going to want to do the trim, which you do like a normal card pocket. So you're going to take a piece of tape that's your trim color that is two and three-fourths inches long and just leave a quarter of an inch trim on each pocket. Like so, make sure that it's nice and straight. I had to redo mine a couple times here. So yeah, just get it to where you like it and then do your other pocket. After you've trimmed your two short pockets, you're going to want to take a nice little like scrap piece of tape, it doesn't even matter how big, and you're just going to want to take one of the card pockets, only one, and like barely overlap the bottom like by a millimeter. So just like barely overlap it like that, if you guys can see. And yeah. When you're attaching your card pockets, you're going to want to make sure that the seam on the hidden is facing down so that when you put your card pockets in, they don't get stuck. And then you're just going to want to attach that card pocket so that the trim is facing outwards and then cover the sticky on the bottom like so. And then you're just going to line your other card pocket up and hold it in place. Don't put any tape on the bottom. And then you're just going to um, line that up to a quarter inch line and use a three and three fourths inch piece of tape of your outside color and cover a quarter inch of the side to attach the pockets. And then you're just going to make sure that's nice and straight, like so, and then you're going to want to fold over the um, tape to the back, like this. Okay, you're just going to make normal card pockets now, so I like to use three pieces of tape and cut the third one down the middle, and then take each card pocket and overlap it onto the piece just by a millimeter. And then you're just going to get that to where you like it and then flip it over and cover only the card pocket part but not the half piece, only the card pocket part. And then do that to both. 
So you're just going to trim your two card pockets like you normally would and then you're going to want to attach those to the billfold piece. So what I like to do is fold the billfold piece backwards so that you'll know where the creases are. And yeah, just like that. So the pattern side shows up. Then you basically just want to attach your pocket so that it shows straight across like that. Make sure that it's nice and even. And then you're just going to want to test it out by putting a card in it and making sure that it doesn't show over the top of the um, billfold. And then you're just going to want to fold the extra piece over and attach your other card pocket so that the little piece at the bottom like won't show over more than a quarter inch when you um, fold over the edge of your outer billfold. So like, yeah, basically like that. And then you're just going to want to cover the sticky at the bottom. So I actually lied in the beginning of this video. I'm going to be using a normal top loader instead of frosted ID plastic because they work better for trifolds in my opinion. So I cut mine to be a little over three and a half inches to a little over two and a half inches. So what I did was I put a quarter inch trim on the top of my ID and then I took two three and three fourths inch pieces of tape and put them on the sides of my ID by a little bit less than a quarter of an inch. And you're going to do that for both sides, like that. I'm then going to take my um, hidden pocket from my ID so that it faces this way, so that when you put your card in, it doesn't like get caught. Like, that way it gets caught, but this way it just goes straight down. Okay, so what I did was I lined my ID up as close to the center as I possibly could, and I folded over one side. Um, it doesn't really matter which side, I just folded over this side because, you know, I can... Okay, so you're going to want to attach this to your inner billfold. So what you're going to want to do is take the side that you have your sticky on and line it up as close to the crease as you can possibly get if you can literally like right on it. And then make sure that it still folds properly, which mine does. And make sure it folds this way. And yeah. So now you're just going to want to attach the sides of your card pockets and hiddens and you're going to want to make sure that the ID is facing the top when you um, put this piece of tape on. So you're going to need a 9.5 inch piece of tape and you're going to want to line it so that it's a quarter inch on the card pockets and um, hiddens. And you're going to want to do that all the way across and make sure it turns out nice and straight. And um... Yeah, so you're just going to do that all the way across and make sure that your hidden is lined up when you put it down so that it's all nice and perfectly straight on there, like so. So what you're going to want to do is cut slits in the ID where it goes across and where it um, shows over onto the trim, the 9 inch pieces on the trim, and then you're just going to fold that up off the trim and push it under the ID like so. You're then going to want to make sure that everything else is pushed down really nicely and then very carefully peel it up. And if you want, you can um, trim this so that it's like a good, like nice and even size. But I actually don't really worry about that because it doesn't really matter as long as it's, um, as long as it's a rounded edge. It doesn't really matter if it's nice and like a quarter of an inch but sometimes I do trim it just to make it look nice but I think it looks personal opinion I think it looks fine like this and if you did use a nine and a half pinch piece you can just cut off these little excess pieces so as you can see your trifold has really taken shape so now you're going to want to work on the outer billfold so I like to use three strips of tape and make it a little taller than three and three fourths inches and it's going to be nine inches long and um, as you can see, there's a little tiny overlap at the top, which is what I like to do. You don't have to do that, but I prefer to leave an overlap. So after you've peeled that up, you're going to want to cover it with your outside color, which mine is comic book. And you're going to leave a quarter inch at the top, about a half an inch on each side, and just a lot on the bottom, basically. Okay, so after you finish that, I tried to line mine up, but it didn't turn out perfect. So you're just going to turn it over and cut out the boxes that are in the corners, like so. And the side that is a quarter of an inch, you're going to want to fold the trim over, but only that side, and then cut the boxes in the bottom as well.
And then after that, you're going to want to take your inner billfold piece and line it up at the bottom, like where the sticky starts, but not onto the sticky. And then you're going to want to fold that up as evenly as possible. And then take a 9 inch piece of tape, it doesn't really matter what color, and then cover the sticky in the bottom of the billfold and make sure that it's 9 inches so that it doesn't fold onto the side of the sticky. And then fold over your sides and you're going to want to take a ruler and cut your side so that it's a little bit over a quarter of an inch. And you're going to want to do this lightly but not too lightly so that it um, doesn't cut but you don't want to cut through your card pocket. And then you're going to do this on all sides including the bottom. So after you've trimmed the sides and the bottom, you can just cut all the slits here, 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 and in the card pocket so that it, everything fits nicely. So um, that's how you make a trifold, and all of your pockets will fit um, your ID and your hiddens. And they go in nice and deep and your two card pockets over here. Um, I'm sorry that this tutorial might not be the best, but um, hopefully it's also not the worst, and I hope you guys have fun making your trifolds, and good luck!